Immediately following the announcement that the six Baltimore cops who arrested Freddie Gray would actually be charged in connection with his death, the attacks against the prosecutor, Marilyn Mosby, did begin. They're, they come in several different forms. There are simply racist attacks against her that she is racist as well. There's uh, allegations that this is a form of corruption, that she is simply aiding people who donated to her ca campaigns and vice versa. Uh, and also the idea that she's doing this to become famous. She simply wants to elevate her position somehow. We hear all different uh, sorts of arguments like that. And there, underneath all of those is the idea that she is biased against the police, that she's simply on the side of the protesters and doesn't care about the, the hard work that the police need to do. So we figured that we would uh, air some of those attacks, but also her likely defense. And one of those has to do with her background, her family background. This is a quote from her. My grandfather, my uncles, my mother, my father, I have five generations of police officers. I know that the majority of police officers are really hardworking officers who are risking their lives day in and day out. But those really bad ones who go rogue do a disservice to the officers who are risking their lives and taking time away from their families. Oh, Jesus, finally, yeah. finally, finally. What was so hard about that? And this was a, from Baltimore Magazine. This wasn't uh, this week. Mm. Like this, mm -hmm. no, 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 this was earlier. Yeah. This was earlier when she got, because she had a, her, her win to become the state's attorney for the city of Baltimore uh, was an upset. So she... But and so they did a profile of her. I presume maybe it was even before the election. But I mean, it's just it's not hard to say. Most cops are good cops. When you protect bad cops, you make it impossible for any cop to do his job, and you mm -hmm. make us distrust them all, and you do a disservice to the community and yourself. It's great, guy. Yeah. I and mean, she I don't. Has the I do not. I cannot fathom why that's controversial. But I have no doubt that that was very controversial for a number of police officers. Yeah, and uh, I'm glad that she. I, she shouldn't have to, but the fact that she can point to the fact that she comes from this long line of police officers. Mom! Her mom. Her mom. She grew up in a house that was called the police house in the Boston neighborhood oh, she yeah, grew up in. Yeah. And this was, again, this was not earlier today this uh, profile came out. This is information from much earlier. That is her background. Her, her when she was 14 years old, her 17-year-old cousin, who was an honor student and headed to college and not in the mm -hmm. way that it's made up by the media, an actual honor student, actually headed to college. Uh, 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 obviously close to her. Um, he'd just come back from his job as a lifeguard, and he was murdered in a robbery. Yeah. And she was so impressed by the, and, and the, by the prosecution and by the police's help in that prosecution, and they did, that person was convicted, that she thought, I want to do this. I want to get justice yeah. for victims and became a prosecutor. This is not a woman whose background Fox News is going to have uh, an easy time picking apart. Yeah. But they have... They have yeah. found one way in. They're already trying to label her as a community organizer. Which That's right. is one of the worst. <laughs> that and social justice were the two worst things you can be. No, by the way, I just want last thing. That's my favorite quote in a year. To see an elected mm -hmm. official say that it's so simple, it's not complicated. Mm -hmm. You can still have cops back, but you can say that. Yeah. Yeah, but guys, you guys are being unfair. Okay, so everyone she knows in her family is a cop. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, her views on law enforcement. I mean, <laughs> I mean, look, what was her job? What it would. She's, oh, right, she's a prosecutor. Uh, oh, okay. And what's she doing here? Oh, prosecuting someone because someone died. Weird, well, I can see that. the criticism flowing in already. Yeah. Someone yeah. innocent died. Yeah. 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 yeah nice. And as we, we were talking about this earlier today, um, it, it's, it breaks my heart that she comes from this long line of cops, and all of that for generations was just so that one day she would be able to turn on them when the time was right, this is and just, convict several of them. Oh, that's such a good point. This is just like the Americans. Yeah, but it might well be based on her life story. They actually. put her in. They put her in 20 years ago and started this yeah. process, so she'd be so deep now. Yeah. Oh, so now, smart. A another of the attacks against her is that there is um, there is some political corruption and in favors. Uh, so the attorney William H. Billy Murphy, who's representing Gray's family in a civil lawsuit donated $5,000 to her campaign uh, last year. Now, uh, her representatives point out that many people donated her campaigns, and this is not, the civil lawsuit is not connected with the criminal lawsuit that she is involved in, um, but the you should right, understand the, that. Right, the criminal prosecution, she, just, she, she says, I don't care about the civil suit, I yeah. got a criminal prosecution. Now, that said, because, you know, and obviously, you know, on this show, and, and Jenk in particular talks about the corrupting influence of money in, in, in politics on a regular basis, it actually is a uh, it's a worthy point. It's a fair point to, to make, and it's one of now yeah. that said, what it's a reminder of is that somebody when you have to run for a job like district attorney, which you do in almost every jurisdiction at some level, mm -hmm. um, that you know U.S. attorneys are appointed, but in every state, 
prosecuting attorneys, their staffs are hired, but the leaders are almost always elected. Um, uh, that you were going to raise money for your campaign, and because you're a prosecuting attorney, guess who's going to give you money? Lawyers, yeah. the people who you want. And guess what's going to happen? Those lawyers are going to have cases before you. Yeah, uh, that yeah. seems it's, like that seems like a dangerous situation. Totally, but it's a degree of corruption that we don't even ever think about that much. But We've got course, bigger fish to fry when it comes to political corruption. Believe money me, the Trial Lawyers Association pays attention to every district attorney's race in the country. I mean, trial lawyers in the in that uh, in that jurisdiction, and that's yeah. what happened here. So this is an insane system. We can't have lawyers giving money to the people who are going to wind up being district attorneys, uh, prosecutors, attorney generals, all these different categories. Mm -hmm. In some places, you're allowed to give the judges. <laughs> How insane yeah. is that? But you know what else is insane? Giving to any politician. Mm -hmm. And like the Koch brothers have organized millionaires and billionaires to give, and they are proud of this, about a billion dollar in bribes to the Republicans in this election cycle. Then Republicans turn around in this case, she took $5,000. Yeah. Okay, hey, listen, I got a deal for you guys. Uh, I will make her give back the five thousand dollars <laughs> as long as you guys give back the billion dollars that the Crow yeah. brothers are going to give you. Hey, man, let's get the unions out. Let's get the corporations out. Let's get everybody out. This is insane. Stop bribing our public officials. So in this case, she might be the least guilty of all of these parties, but nonetheless, it's a corrupt system, yeah. and we shouldn't have it this way. If you were in a group waiting in a restaurant to be sat, and you saw someone slip a twenty to the mater d, it could start a mini riot. But millions being handed over in political elections when billions or trillions are on the line, that's not a corrupting influence for some reason. And they all take the money. But she the, can't win if she doesn't she, take the money. Yeah, exactly. Great. So let's stop the system that allows them to take the money. Yeah. But of course, Fox News will never, ever, ever agree to that because they love when they get bribed because they mainly get bribed by their guys. Yeah. Now, uh, so because of that sort of the, the donation that we, we referenced, uh, the local Fraternal Order of Police uh, representative is saying that she needs to rec recuse herself instantly from this. So that's one attack against her. Uh, the Maryland state attorney has declared war on law enforcement. Todd Starnes is a person, he loves America. You can tell by his, uh, his, his Twitter. His picture. Twitter thing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, none of us have that. We clearly yeah, I do don't not. like America, uh, apparently, because I don't put that on my Twitter. Thing. I just put my face. Has declared war myself. on law enforcement. Yeah, I love right. this response by Gabe Ortiz. Uh, Marilyn Mosby's mother, a uh, father, mother, and grandfather were police officers. You dolt. <laughs> and then he goes on to say that smirk at the end of the state's attorney's remarks spoke volumes. Yes, every hey, single you, look. I don't know. Anti-police. Hashtag anti-police. I don't know uh, Todd Starnes, but here's what white people don't like: when black people smirk or do anything. They do not or like or that. smile. They don't like it. Or well, when they look them directly in the eye, like with Freddie Gray. Well, that's what started this whole thing in the first place. Yeah. Freddie Gray looked at a white cop the wrong way. And so Todd Starnes is doubling down. Hey, yeah. don't look us the wrong way, okay? And even if you're a prosecutor looking for justice for Freddie Gray, <laughs> don't you dare smirk at me. Yeah. I think Emmett Till uh, had made the same mistake. Yeah. Uh, really fast, I just want to give you at least a preview of the sorts of attacks that you're going to be seeing throughout the weekend from uh, cable news, especially Fox, obviously. Uh, this is going to be a John Scott, a Fox anchor, uh, attacking Mosby in a variety of different ways. There are... Uh Accusations or allegations, I guess, that Marilyn Mosby, first of all, she's only been on the job about four months. She right. is the youngest chief prosecutor in the nation, as I understand it, at the mm -hmm. age of 34. There are allegations that she uh, has ties uh, to people involved in the police union and, and should not be conducting this investigation. And when I said police union, I misspoke. Mm -hmm. she, she is accused of having ties to an attorney for the Gray family who uh, has has given heavily to her campaign. I just wanted to get that out there. I love given that. heavily. <laughs> right, right. Heavily. Yeah. Because she's like, oh, I, I'm so, uh, I misspoke. Uh, I meant in every case where they don't prosecute uh, the cops, they have heavy ties to the police union, but if we never <laughs> say that on Fox. Ever. <laughs> ever. I meant uh, ties to the to the family, uh, mm. which is outrageous. How could she have ties to the family and the community? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> ties, ties, ties. Again, it's just the ties that the prosecutor's office has to the police department and police officers. There are no more I unjust ties in law in 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 the legal system in America. Yeah. Like they literally are teammates. It's like asking me to prosecute Jake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Ben, ties go in, ties go out. <laughs> you can't explain <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. 